All right, question six in the diagram PQ is 15 cm and PR is 17 cm and PQR 90 degrees, QR and RS are the equal. They're very kindly already noted it out for us. And PRS is a straight line, so that means it's 180 degrees. All right, find the length of QR. Cool, so they've given us some lengths and that's useful and we can see that it's part of a right angle triangle. So immediately, since um, I'm looking for this length, I'm going to see if I can like sign some or cosine some angle here that can give me this length. So right now, what I'm seeing is, okay, imagine if I did this, right? I can say that if that was my angle, then this will be a hypotenuse. This is the adjacent and this will be opposite, right? So let me just draw it out so that it's clearer. This will be my adjacent, this will be my opposite, and this will be hypotenuse. If this is the angle that I'm talking about. And this is 15, and this is 17. So that's useful because I can say that uh, opposite and hypo, that will give me sine, so S O H, opposite and hypo. I can say sine of this angle, um, Q R P, is simply opposite over hypotenuse. And so angle QRP itself is equal to sine inverse 15 over 17. Okay, so why is that useful? Is because I can I can say um, that cosine of QRP because this is this is what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for this QR. I say cosine of QRP is adjacent over hypo, which is QR, what I'm looking for, over 15. And what is QRP? QRP is simply this. So I can say cosine, and I plug it in, equals to QR over 15. I'm doing this so I don't have to round up or down. Once again, just key this in first in your calculator, and then cosine the result. And then after that, you multiply it by 15. Um, so what you get is, uh, simply that QR equals to 8 cm. Okay, um, B, as a fraction, we need to find the value of cosine QRS. Okay, that's, that's not too bad, I think. Because we already found a lot of stuff to do with this angle. In fact, I think we found this angle, QR, QRP, is, is basically the sine inverse of this. So I can simply say that the co cosine of QRS, um, let me just do it step by step. So I can say that uh, it's part A. So for part B, I can say QRS is simply 180 degrees minus QRP, right? And 180 degrees minus QRP is simply 180 degrees, what's QRP? This, minus sine inverse 15 minus 17. And then I say cosine of this will be cosine QRS, cosine of this. Yep. So once again, key this into a calculator first, 180 minus sine inverse, 15 over 17, and then cosine the result. And then you will see that this will spit out for you negative 8 over 17. And now part C, the area of triangle QRS, which is really this one, QRS, area of this triangle. Let me just write it out. Just kind of outline it. And we already found QR, right? QR is simply 8 cm. So this, these two are equal. And the angle in between, we've also found QRS is actually here, right? QRS is actually this. So we can use the formula that we know. Um, you can say the area of triangle QRS is simply half 
of a b sine c so a b and sine of the angle in between so it's going to be 8 times 8 times sine of the angle in between and sine of the angle in between what's the angle in between qrs which is this whole this whole chunk so i'm just going to write it in now if you don't like it to do it this way you can actually just type it in separately you know solve it side uh, step by step but for me it's because i don't want to uh, round up or down and stuff like this where this is simply angle q rs yeah the angle in between so what i should do now it looks complicated but don't don't worry just key this in first and then you sine of this and then you multiply multiply it by eight multiply it by eight multiply it by half and this will give you the result they are looking for which is uh, 28 and 4 over 17 cm squared